Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Okay, recently something's been happening all over the news with Armenia and Azerbaijan. I'm gonna share a little bit more of my personal story here. I don't mean to jump topics, but I think it's important. Armenia, I'm Armenian. Some of you guys know that about me. I am half Armenian. My father is Armenian. He looks very much Arab and, and Middle Eastern, right? So on and so forth. And my mother was born in Moscow. She was adopted. I was born in Azerbaijan, Baku. I'm gonna pull this up on the map for you guys because this stuff has been trending. And some of you guys know about it, but Azerbaijan, Baku uh, is a beautiful city. And basically what happened, let me, let me throw it up on the map for you guys so you know where this is at. Uh, there it is, Baku region, southern Azerbaijan. I'm gonna pull up a world map so you guys see where it is. South the Caspian Sea, it's north of Russia, Turkey, Iran, um, Turkestan. Now, me and my family came out here as refugees in 1991 because of the pogroms of Baku. What is that? Well, there were Armenians who live in Baku, which is a RZ state, Azerbaijanian state. RZs are primarily Muslims. Armenians are primarily Christians. If you meet Armenians, they'll tell you that they're really proud of the fact that Armenia was the first country to identify as Christians, right? Now, these are cousins, basically. They live there right next to each other. And what happened was, much like the... Hitler demonizing the Jews during World War II, Azerbaijanians, RZ started feeling like Armenians were for the fault of all of their issues. And so they got us out of there. They got us out of there. And it was violent and it was really wild. And you guys could look up the pogroms of Baku. It was in the late 80s. And so Azerbaijan and Armenia were under the Soviet Union, the USSR. And they didn't step in. They didn't intervene. Violence in the streets, really bad stuff, really terrible stuff and me and my family came out here as a byproduct of that as refugees english is not my first language um my first language is russian and we you know came to san diego in 1991 now right now there is some crazy stuff going on in azerbaijan armenia and by the way armenians by and large we're still upset you know why because nobody uh our genocide the genocide of 1915 was never recognized as an official genocide until recently where it got a it got it passed through the Senate and then President Trump overturned it because of his political affiliations with Turkey. So, we don't like that, right? Now we don't like that. Now basically there is a part of a um uh, uh of a um part of Azerbaijan that is like a like an Armenian section and it is, I think it's called the Karabakh, Karabakh area. And so we now have this section and they basically started, um, they started uh, bombing it and there's all kinds of conflicts. So I'm gonna give you guys just a quick update. Um, uh, about a couple dozen people, including women and children have been killed. Um, and let me, uh, let, me, let me just read this to you guys. Armenia and Azerbaijan accuse one another of firing directly into each other's territories and rejected pressure to hold peace talks as their conflict over the enclave of Na, uh, Nargo Karabakh threatened to descend into an all-out war. Basically, Armenians have historically lived in Azerbaijan and there's a part of Azerbaijan that is primarily occupied by Armenians. Azerbaijan isn't like that. And it is just a big, hot mess. Um, both countries reported on Tuesday firing from the other side across their shared border well to the west of the breakaway Narabakh region over where the fierce fighting broke out between RZ and ethnic Armenian forces on Sunday. The incident signaled a further escalation of the conflict despite urgent appeals from Russia, the United States, and others to halt the fighting. The conflict has reunited concerns about stability in the South Caucasus region and threatens to drag Turkey and Russia into it. RZ president, speaking to Russia, state televised, flatly ruled out any possibility of talks. Armenian prime minister told the same channel there could be no negotiations while fighting continued. Okay, now this is the region. Okay, so if you thought it's bad in America, if you thought American politics were bad, okay, this is real people getting killed not too far from where I was born and raised. The Karabakh is a, is a breakaway region inside Azerbaijan that is controlled by ethnic Armenians and backed by Armenia. It broke away from Azerbaijan in a war during the 1990s, but it is not recognized by any country as an independent republic. Dozens of people have been reported killed and hundreds wounded since clashes between Azerbaijan and ethnic Armenia forces broke out Sunday. This is 
crazy and this is happening literally right near where I was born, where I lived. And a funny thing is, I was I, some of you guys know my mom's have, had some health complications lately. I've been taking her to a lot of her um, taking her to a lot of her physical therapy. She's, she's slowly, uh, she's getting sober, so on and so forth. And one of the things I told her is, hey, you know, <laughs> if I can get you off the booze, I will take you to where we're from, Baku. Now, we're Armenians, or at least I'm half Armenian. My mom's adopted, but she's culturally Armenian. And I said, hey, uh, well, I'll take you back there for 2021 when everything settles down for COVID. We still have some friends back there, no family, because all of our family came over to America or other parts. And I was like, I'll take you back there. We'll go back to Baku. I've been wanting to go back to Baku. It was crazy. I, I came out here when I was six. I'd never been back to Baku. And I really want to go back. I really want to, you know, you got this. Everybody has this desire to know our origin story in us, right? And so I really want to go back. And I was like, yo, I want to go back. Uh, I'll take you with me if you can stay sober. That's kind of like my plea with her. And sure enough, um, this stuff breaks out. I don't know if we could even go back if we wanted to, but I really do want to go back and kind of, you know, go down memory lane, see where I grew up, see how much of my memory aligns, uh, the food rations, all that kind of stuff. It is, um, it is, it is a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. It's very sad. But I'm giving. I'm, why am I sharing this with you guys? Because those of you guys that are bent out of shape about a presidential debate, I want you guys to know that there's parts of the world where I come from, specifically with like real civil war violent type issues right real people getting killed in the streets i'm not talking you know um i'm not talking about I, I, and, got, and and like what's happened with the protests and the people that were violently killed and innocents that were killed there is terrible but we're talking about dozens and dozens and innocent women and children that it is just it's very sad it's very sad and hopefully they figure something out i do want to go back um and 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 visit and maybe some of this, some of this is, is probably makes up why I am, you know, politically agnostic. Uh, if you guys want to partner with us, politically agnostic shirts available for twenty five dollars. Link in the bio. It says pre order because we're not fulfilling them super fast, but we're about to streamline the process. We're gonna do a big sale. And if you want a hoodie, let me know exclusively for those of you guys that are seeing this live. If you want a hoodie, just buy two shirts and in the memo say you want a hoodie. We'll get you out a hoodie. We're gonna do a big sale here pretty soon. These joints will be gone. Once they're gone, they'll be gone forever. And it'll come with a bigger drop. But in the meantime, if you want one, go buy one. Link is in the description. Shout out to Patreon. Shout out to all the channel members. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And yeah, let me know what y'all think. Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn.